Okay, in this video we're going to look at arithmetic progressions. Uh, an arithmetic progression can be abbreviated to an AP, so in this video we'll be talking about APs. An AP is a series of terms in which one term is obtained from the previous term by adding a fixed number. So the first term is very important. The first term is A, and the common difference, or whatever you're adding, is D. So that means your first term would be A, your second term would be A plus D, your third term would be A plus 2D, your fourth term would be a plus 3d and so on. So your general term is un is equal to a plus n minus 1d. So what we mean by this, for example, if you were looking for your 17th term, so u17 would be equal to a plus 16d. Okay, a, sorry, d, a can be positive or negative and d can be positive or negative, whatever it happens to be. So for this example, it says for the AP, 5 plus 9 plus 13 plus 17 plus 101. What is the 11th term and what term number is 101? First thing you've got to do is write down what A is and what D is. So A is the first term, 5. D is a common difference. So you get from 5 to 9 by adding on 4. So D is just 4. I'm also going to write down my general term. And remember, it was A upon n minus 1 times D. So in this case, my general term is going to be 5 plus 4 upon n minus n minus 1. Okay, uh, what is the 11th term, the first thing I'm going to say? So u11 is what we're looking for, so it's going to be 5 plus 4 times 11 minus 1 is 10. So that's going to be u11 is equal to 5 plus 40, which is going to be 45. That's the first bit done. Next bit said, what term number is 101? So we're just going to say let 101 equal, and we're, we're summing it into this expression here. So 101 is equal to 5 plus 4 upon n minus 1. Now we better rearranging here just. Uh, so you'll bring that 5 across. You're going to have 101 minus 5, which is 96, is equal to 4 upon n minus 1. And then whatever way you want to do it, you can multiply out your brackets and then go from there. I think I've just divided across by the 4, first of all. So 96 divided by 4 is equal to n minus 1. So that's going to be 24 is equal to n minus 1, which means, I'll go over here and finish this off. That means 24 plus 1 is equal to n. So n is equal to 25. So my answer for that one, it is the 25th term. Okay, we're going to look at two formulas for adding the terms of an AP. So the first one, the longer one, but the more common one, is the sum of the first n terms is given by n over 2 upon 2 times a, which is your first term, plus n minus 1 upon d, which was your common difference. Okay, so if you imagine you'd replaced uh, the last term, which would have been a plus n minus 1d by l. So if you were in a situation where you knew your first term and you knew your last term, and you knew maybe there were 40 terms, then you could use this formula as well. So the sum of the first n terms is n over 2 upon the first term plus the last term. Now we're going to look at the proof for this first one, and this they can examine, uh, so we need to know how to do this. Okay, for this proof, we're going to write this sequence out. Series out, I should say, we're going to start with the first term, which is a, the second term is a plus d, and then I'm just going to do plus dot dot dot, and I'm going to write out the last two terms of the sequence as well. Uh, so it's going to be a upon n minus 2 times d, and then your last term of the sequence, or series I should say, is n minus 1 times d. What we're going to do is write that backwards. So write out that same thing, but we're going to write out backwards. So starting with the last one, and we're going to be ending up with a, uh, a plus d and then a. So first one we're going to write down is going to be a plus n minus 1 times d. Next time we're going to write down is going to be a plus n minus 2 times d. And then we'll do plus dot dot dot. And we're going to write down our a plus our d. And then our last term is a. Okay, now all we're going to do is add those two things. So on the left hand side, you've got s of n plus s of n, so you've really got two s of n's. On the right hand side, what you've got, and I'll just look at these two, the uh, last two, 
If you add the last two terms here, in each of these uh, S of Ns, you're going to get 2a plus n minus 1d. Look what happens if you add the next two in. You're going to get 2a plus n minus 1d. So what you actually get is 2a plus n minus 1d plus all the way along, that's what's going to be all the way along, 2a plus n minus 1d. So what you really have found is that 2 times s of n, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you've got n of these sequence, uh, terms. So you've got really 2s of n is equal to n upon 2a plus n minus 1d. And that leaves you then with your very last bit. I'll squeeze that on over here. Therefore, your s of n is going to be equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, next thing we're going to look at it, which is just to show that the sum of the first n natural numbers is given by uh, s of n is equal to n over 2 upon n plus 1. We mentioned this in the last video. We'll just go through it again. So again, same idea to do this. We're going to write the first n numbers out uh, in ascending order. So 1 plus 2 plus dot dot dot. The last one is n. The one before that then would be n minus 1. So uh, we've just written them out in ascending order. We could write them in descending order. So in descending order, you're going to have n plus n minus 1 all the way along. And you'll eventually get the 2 plus 1. I'll just put a wee plus sign in there and there. Okay, if we add those, you're going to get 2 lots of s of n is equal to, and it will be n plus 1 plus n plus 1 plus all the way along n plus 1. So 1 plus the n is n plus 1, 2 plus n minus 1 is n plus 1 at the end ones here. Uh, n plus 1 and 2, time, 2 plus n minus 1 is also n plus 1. So you've got n lots of that. So what you really have got, you've got that 2 times s of n is equal to n upon n plus 1. So therefore, your answer s of n is equal to n upon n plus 1 all over 2. This example says find the sum of the first 50 terms of the AP, A, uh, sorry, AP, which is 3, 10, 17, and so on. So your A, first of all, is equal to 3. Your common difference is equal to 7. That's just because you add on 7 to get from each term. So that's where your D comes from. And your N, in this case, is 50. Write down your formula for your uh, sum of your first N terms, uh, which was N over 2 upon 2a plus n minus 1 times d and if you do that out so in this case we want to find the sum of the first 50 terms so it's just going to be 50 over 2 times 2 times my a so just put that in that's going to be 3 my n minus 1 then is going to be 49 and my d was 7 and fire that into your calculator you're going to get your sum of the first 50 terms is equal to and i have got 8 7 Two, five when I did that on my calculator. Okay, this example says how many terms of the AP 3, 7, 11 must be added together to produce a total of 300. Okay, no idea, so let's just get started. If you're not too sure what to do, just find something you, that you can do. Uh, so AP, my first term is 3. My common difference is from 3, I get up to 7 by adding 4. So my common difference, D, is equal to 4. And we want to find that your uh, S of N is equal to 300. That's what we want to find. So, no clue. So, we'll just put our formula in. Left-hand side of this formula is going to be N over 2 times 2A plus N minus 1 times D is equal to 300. And then we'll fill in a wee bit more that we know. What else do we know? We know our a is equal to 3 and our d is equal to 4. So that's going to be n over 2 times 2 times a. So 2 times 3 is 6. n minus 1 times the d. And the d is 4. And that is equal to 300. So if we go from here, first thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to leave the n where it is on the left-hand side. I'm going to write that a wee bit nicer as n minus 4 upon n minus 1. 
and then I'm going to multiply across by the 2. So 2 times the 300 gives me 600. Okay, just multiply out by, uh, through with your bracket. You're going to have 6n plus 4n squared minus 4n is equal to 600. We now have a quadratic. Bring it all to one side, put it equal to 0. 4n squared plus 2n minus 600 is equal to 0. Everything is divisible by 2, so we can make life a wee bit easier. And that just becomes 2n squared plus n minus 300 is equal to 0. And then one, I guess, to be honest, I think this one does factorize nicely, actually. But um, I don't think in an exam, if I got this, I would probably just go ahead and use my uh, quadratic equation. So I'm going to do that here. So in this case, my n is going to be equal to... And remember your quadratic formula in this case is going to be n is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. Square root of that bit all divided by 2a. So in this case my b is equal to 1 so it's going to be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times. I'll just stop there and zoom in I think. So I've just run out of a bit of space there. We'll go back to that. And your n in this case is going to be equal to minus b, which is going to be minus 1, plus or minus the b squared. So that's just going to be uh, just good practice. Put that, I know we don't need a bracket really in this case. Just put it in a bracket. That's just in case that did happen to be a negative. Because uh, you put it, just put minus 1 squared in your calculator, it will give you a wrong answer. So just use the brackets, just be careful. And then minus 4 times my a, which is 2, times my c, which is minus 300 okay and that's divided by 2 times my a so 2 times the 4 and if you tidy that up a wee bit you will get minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 2401 all over 4 and when you do that out you get n is equal to minus 12.5 or n is equal to 12 Okay, the question was about terms, so your answer is n is equal to 12, so 12 terms. It says in this example, in an AP, u, u10 is equal to 3, so that means the 10th term is equal to 3. S6 is equal to 76.5, that means the sum of the first six terms is equal to 76.5, and you've defined A and D. Okay, let's just get started. Uh, u10 is equal to 3, that means... 3 is equal to my a, my first term, plus 9 times my d. So that's my first equation. Next thing it says is my s6 is equal to 76.5. So 76.5 then is equal to my m, which is 6, over 2, times 2 times my a. My a, well, we don't know, we're trying to find our a, so 2a, plus my m minus 1, n is 6, so n minus 1 is going to be 5, and that's times d. Okay, that's a wee bit of a mess. We can tidy it up. That 76.5 is equal to 3 upon 2a plus 5d. And again, multiply in, you'll get 76.5 is equal to 6a plus 15d. Dot, dot, dot. That's equation 2. We've got our two equations, two unknowns. So do this whatever way you want to do it. I'm going to multiply my first equation by uh, 6 to get 18 is equal to 6a plus 54d. Uh, that was my 6 times equation 1. I'll write down my equation 2 beneath it just. It was 76.5 is equal to 6a plus 15d. And then I'm just going to subtract. That was my equation 2. Uh, subtract. And if you subtract here, you're going to get 50. Sorry, minus 58.5 is equal to 39d. So your d works out to be minus 58.5 divided by 39. And if you do that, you're going to get your d is equal to minus 1.5. Sub that back in to equation, sub that back into equation 1. Uh, what was my equation 1? It was 3 was equal to a plus 9 times my d, and my d is now minus 1.5, so 3 is equal to a, and that's going to be minus 13.5, bring the 13.5 across, it will now add, sorry, it was minus 13.5, bring it across, it will now add to give you 16.5 is equal to your a. 
tidy it up just for the examiner that's a is equal to 16.5 and your d is equal to minus 1.5 okay you're now ready to do sequences and series exercise three